arrived at Kosani. I took all the straps off. I left one on that one. I left one on that one back there. Just so I can uh, make sure I got it. Got a little bit of securement in the morning when I come inside this gate. Right over there. Y'all know what it is. Time to go night night. for that little game. That's it. Just sent my empty car waiting on my next load. Yo, so that load, the load I just dropped off, uh, I had a window, 8 o'clock to 8.30. Uh, but I live like, like three and a half hours away. So I came up here last night. I said, I'm going to go ahead and come last night. That way, when I get here today, well, you know, I would have had to get up like 4 o'clock this morning and leave the house. Because my window from 8 to 8.30. So I got here last night. I pulled in the gate at 7. As soon as it opened the gate, I pulled in. Guess what time I got? Guess what time they started unloading me? 8.30. <laughs> at the end of my window, it started unloading me at 8.30. Right now, it's 9.20. So, yeah, when I when I when I got here and went to the office and checked in, the guy was like, "We gotta wait on the guys to drive the forklift to get to work." So just sit out there and wait. So that's what I did. So, hell, if I would have known that, I would have stayed home last night and drove up here this morning. I could have, I could have left the house and got here right at eight thirty. But hey, it is what it is. Now, I'm sitting here waiting on this load. Go ahead, and pick this up. See what's gonna happen next. Oh yeah, one more thing, man. I was talking to the Migo that was unloading me. And he was like, uh, they they unloaded me from my from my flatbed to another flatbed. Um and they gotta deliver that like an hour away. Oh, I just got a new I just got a new load. Yo, did y'all see how much pipes was on that trailer? I want y'all to see how many pipes is on that trailer. Check this out. Where they're delivering it to. They got to unload it by hand when they get there. I, I asked the guy, I was like, well, how, I was like, how do y'all pick these pipes up? He was like, it takes four people to pick up one pipe. 
I want y'all to look at these pipes now. Just take a look at them. It takes four people to pick up one pipe and they got to unload the whole trailer by hand. So yeah, I definitely, if I had to do it, I'd do it, but they ain't no easy job. Let's see where this load going. It just came in and that was quick. Bennettsville, picking it up in Bennettsville, South Carolina. What the fuck? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, but we about to find out. It's going to Ohio. So let's get ready to hit the road, gang. We out. Proud MIA, you are not forgotten. Last time I came here, let me tell y'all, last time I came to this place right here, I was working. Last time I came here, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how I got what's so special about this place. Last time I was here, it took me about uh I was picking up a preload. I got here and hooked up to the preload, but it took me like, maybe like two hours to get the paperwork for the preload. So I already had the load, I already had it ready, I already had it secured. While I was waiting on the damn paperwork for the preload, I was talking to my buddy, uh, Aaron, and he was telling me about how he was starting orientation at PNS, like in the next week. And he was like, man, you should, you should check them out. I was like, uh, I was like, all right, I think I might check them out. So guess what? While I was sitting there waiting on my damn paperwork, guess what I did? I put in an application at PNS. <laughs> While I was sitting right here waiting on my paperwork. The following week, I was in orientation in Birmingham. Best decision I ever made so far in my trucking career. Yes, it was it was the best decision I ever made. Cause I, I love working at PNS. The load I was just talking about, where I said I, I turned I, I was going to Ohio. When I when I uh, as soon as I seen it, I, I called my dispatch. I was, like, I was like, yo, I can't take that load. I'm going uh I'm going out of town. Uh third leaving Thursday going to Las Vegas. I turned that so I turned that load down, and now I got another load going to uh, uh, Virginia. It was paying pretty good going up there. I mean, so if I wasn't, if I didn't have this family vacation going on uh, Thursday and this, and this weekend, then I, I would have been going to Ohio because it was paying pretty good. But you know, a lot of companies you don't have that flexibility to turn a load down. At another company, you know, you might would have had to pick that load up, and, and your dispatcher be like, "Oh, we're gonna repower you. Just pick it up. We we'll repower you." It ain't, it ain't, it ain't like that over here. I mean, I, they, I'm not saying they couldn't have repowered me, had me picked it up, and gave it to somebody else. But I called my dispatcher, she ended up getting me another load. So that's what happened. But I tell you what, this place is so slow. So hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get this uh I'm more than likely I'm getting live loaded so I'm gonna go ahead and check in real quick twenty nine thousand four hundred sixty pounds that's my empty weight with a half a tank of fuel Yeah, I think last time I was here, that system was down. So I guess that's one thing that has something to do with it. Why well, I had to end up waiting on that paperwork so long.
Y'all see that tarpon station over there? Uh oh, I see a rail. It's a rail right there. Shout out my buddy Eric, who just started that rail. Back up beside him. Y'all already know what y'all already know what company that is, that is right there. TMC. That's an old school Kenworth right there. Yeah, that guy right there, he got to be a lease driver. It's a new one coming in the frame. Hey, shout out all my TMC drivers who rock with your boy. TMC. TMC. The Money Crew. That's what I'm going to call y'all. The Money Crew. How about that? Let me take my ass in this office and check in. I'm all back then, gang. Got a Western Express beside me. Then I got an owner operator on the other side. So what that tell you? Number three in line. Looks like you can strap it in this area. And then right over here, you got a tarping area. Yeah, last time I was here, my load was pre tarp Let me ask y'all a question, man. I was having a debate with some truck drivers the other night. These idiots told me if they come to a place like this and pick up a pre-tarp load, then they're actually going to take the tarps off that load and put their own tarps on. But they're company drivers. They're not owner ops that got their own special tarps. They're company drivers. So they're going to come pick up a pre-tarp load, take the time to take the tarps off just so they can keep their own tarps. It sounds pretty idiotic to me. What y'all think? Ponder about that while I'm uh, picking this load up. y'all drink a lot of water hundred and seven degrees 107 there might not be nothing y'all Texas boys but I'd be damn if they a lot to me not really you know I'd be at the beach all the time too It's a big difference when you're sitting at the beach up under an umbrella though. You're out, there, out there climbing on top of a damn tarp load with a damn a harness on. I see why they got that harness out here. I see why they got it because uh, that damn plastic is slippery walking up there, boy. Woo! I'm gone. This is gonna be the, this is gonna be the last video y'all see from me. Last one y'all gonna see until I go to, to go to Las Vegas. Yeah, man, went ahead and got this one out. My other buddy, Dan, did he get his paper? Where he gonna park it? My buddy right there was beside me tarping. All right, now I got my paperwork. They let me out. All right, now. Come on, man. Come on, man. I know he didn't do this. Come on. Let me show y'all this shit. 
I found a parking spot and, and went in there and got my paperwork. Oh, oh he coming to talk to me. Huh? At the office? Yeah. Hey, can you let me out? Man. Right, well, I was like, damn, this motherfucker blocked me in. It's all good, man. We gotta help each other out. Yeah, he must have never came here before. So he asked me where to get the paperwork. Yeah, he get the paperwork at the office. Last time I came here, I, I actually parked uh, on the side of where he just parked at. And another guy came up to me and was like, uh, yo, can you pull up a little bit? I was like, all right. Hey, flatbed gang, man. Brotherhood. That guy right there works for Royal Trucking Company out of West Point, Mississippi. I'm about to go ahead and jump out here and let these motherfuckers. If y'all ever come to this place right here, once you get the paperwork, then you gotta go back through the damn scale house and, and verify your scale weight and all that. Uh, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Maverick, buddy. Man, I got buddies at every company, man. Maverick, Melton, TMC, The Money Crew, PNS, NST, BTC, Hornady, Swift, CR England. Hey, it don't matter. I got buddies everywhere. Oh, this scale's closed. I gotta get on this one. Hey, I feel sorry for these guys, man. If I had the camera facing that way, I'll show you. Oh man, the scale closed. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm about to call over here on this little telephone. Find out. Hey, my camera facing me, it ain't facing out right now, but look. You got one, two, three, four, five, so nine trucks in line about to get loaded. Yes. Good thing I got her early. Yo, your boy's out. I gotta go turn this ticket in so I can get out this gate. Flatbed game.